hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am kylie welcome glad to have you here if you can't already tell by the title today's video is super exciting i have been waiting so long like unbelievably long to make this video it has been painful this is about proposing to my bridesmaids well not proposing to them but the boxes i'm making for them so excited to show you guys what i have been buying i have had a pinterest board for this for so long and i've just had this idea in my head and was so excited to just kind of bring it to life and i just really want to share it with you guys so by this moment in time, I have already proposed to my junior bridesmaids, which are my cousins. They're just a little bit younger, and so their boxes are a little bit different. Got some footage for that because I kind of had to do that a couple weeks back because in order to do that in person, I had to kind of scramble and do things a little bit different with that, but I got some footage for that. Let's just get into this video. I am so, so excited. Dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing. I'll just show you what the classic bridesmaids box looks like. A gold box. And this is the top. And I bought these boxes around Christmas time. I got them from Target. They're the paper, the sugar paper brand. And I knew for like a couple of years that I wanted to use these boxes because they're just gorgeous. On the inside, they have these like gold, like polka dots, and I just think they're gorgeous. They are a little on the pricier side, so I knew going into it that it wasn't the cheapest thing to do. I think they do run like, I think they're like $6 a box, so keep that in mind if you choose to purchase these boxes and you can only buy them around Christmas time and they sell out really, really quickly. So I had to go to Target a few different times whenever I was purchasing these boxes and that's also why I didn't get them for my junior bridesmaids because they ran out so fast. I only got them for my bridesmaids and not my junior bridesmaids. I just wanted to also do something different for them and I knew their box was going to be a little bit different. In the box, the first thing that they're going to get is this card. This one is sealed but I have one that I left open to show you what is on the card because the they're all the same for the most part. I'm gonna tape the card on the top so I know whose box is who because they're personalized a little bit. So the card will say their name and I have them all personalized by like their hair and you could choose if you wanted it to have like flowers or champagne. And by the person that I was proposing to, I just chose whether I thought that they would want flowers or champagne in their hand. This one's for Becky and I just thought she would want to be holding flowers so I put flowers in her hand. This is me obviously and I chose the pink robe for everyone. I purchased these cards off of an Etsy shop and I can link that down below if you're interested. They did take a really long time to get here but I think they are so so cute and they just add the perfect personalized touch to the box and it's the first thing that they're going to be opening. I just think it's going to be perfect. They're going to open the card and then like personally I'm doing this at a brunch with everyone and I don't know if they know that I'm doing this and so they're going to be like oh my gosh like that's when they're gonna know that like in this box it's gonna be like a whole bunch of goodies for like becoming a bridesmaid. I just thought it was really cute. I mean these cards were like two to three dollars per person. The shipping wasn't cheap either. <laughs> I think it's worth it. So they all are each getting a card and then the next item, everyone's getting this candle. It kind of goes with the theme that I was trying to portray for the box. It's champagne toast. Also, I thought instead of getting everyone champagne, this is called champagne toast. And then everyone is getting this tumbler cup with their name on it. I'm actually also getting, well, I purchased myself one and mine is white and it says bride underneath it because 
I'm only a bride once. I just thought I would live that out. I could have gotten like bridesmaid underneath everyone's name, but I thought that in order for them to be able to reuse the cups for not just this experience, I thought it would just be better if I just got their name. And then the last item in everyone's box is this gold pouch. And in the pouch, I just put two items. I got everyone matching scrunchies. I just thought these were so cute. And they're gold, they match the theme. And they're super soft. I got everyone these, so even the junior bridesmaids have these. And I got everyone this eye mask, and it's gold. The packaging is maroon, but their gold eye masks and I thought that they just were cute and they matched the theme as well. That's what I got all of the bridesmaids. I just thought it was just a cute little memento to ask someone to be part of your bridal party and then this is kind of what the box looks like when they open it. I was going to get everyone champagne but I didn't really know where to put that in the box. I did think that I was going to have to send some of the boxes out and I didn't think it would be fair to give some people champagne and some people not champagne. It actually worked out that I think I'm gonna be able to see everyone to give them their boxes in person. So that's really exciting. So now what I got my maid of honor, I will show you. So she got the same card as everyone. It just, instead of it saying bridesmaid, it says maid of honor and then i only got her like a few little extra goodies um than everyone else i got her this maid of honor planner and it just has kind of like some planning schedules for her to help plan which i thought was really cute bachelorette party stuff so i just thought that was cute in case she would want to use that i know she likes to plan and stuff like that and i thought it just it looked really cute and then I just put a few little extra goodies in her bag. It's just a mini Tarte Big Ego mascara. And so I thought she would enjoy trying that out. So that is the few little extra goodies that I gave to my maid of honor. And then she got the rest of the things that everyone else got. And I'm really excited to be asking all of my bridesmaids this weekend for my junior bridesmaids. I got them like little baskets and I got them gold pouches that were similar to ours and then I got them the same tumbler cups as I got the girls but I got them rose gold because I thought that was more like age appropriate since they are a little younger and it kind of matched the gold pouches and I didn't think that they would want black quite simply and then I got them some candy I got them oh and I got them some makeup and I put that in the pouch and then they also got a hair scrunchie to match all of us. And I also got them the card and everything. We'll also be putting together a video of asking everyone. So stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions about the boxes or anything, please let me know down below. I would be happy to answer them or any questions at all. I'd be happy to answer them. If you have any comments, leave those down below as well. I had so much fun putting these together. I can't wait to plan the wedding with them, pick out the dresses with them, the colors for the wedding. I've been kind of putting that off because I kind of want their input on what color dress they want to be wearing. Yeah, I am so happy and excited to have these ladies standing by my side. I love them so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.